Hi friends, this is Amanda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Michigan. Welcome, thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate your time today. Today, I wanna to take a quick second to remind you that in March, we have 20% off some fun and exciting things. Remember, the mini emboss machine is 20% off. Not only that, but we brought back two, three different bundles that are not bundles in the catalog, but uh, that we uh, are offering at 20% off. So, how fun of that art gallery, and then celebrate the sunflowers and garden wishes all again, 20% off with the bundle price. The Seaside Skate Bundle, I know I've told you this before, that's already in my cart because that's the only one that I like that's, that I don't have of the ones that I was gonna get. So, I have just about all the other ones, except for the few at the bottom here, but I am super excited for 20% off. That's an awesome. So remember savings is in bloom uh, through the 31st of March. All right, friends, today we're gonna play with one of my favorite sets, but I haven't got to it, this Cactus Cuties. So stinking cute. You know how I feel about going back to and forth to Phoenix and Sunshine, so really excited to play with that. We're gonna do a birthday card today. So we are going to use uh, the Hey Birthday Chick and the Dragonfly Garden. May good things grow all year long. Cactuses grow year long. I thought that would work perfectly. And happy birthday, let's celebrate you is what I'm going to do on the inside. We are going to use the Pattern Party DSP. That is the host reward, super cool. I uh, remember our annual catalog is oh so close to being up. It uh, only goes through May 2nd, and so that's less than two months away. If you don't already have um, everything out of that catalog that you want, you need to get shopping. With this bundle um, comes the cute uh, punch that works. All right, and we need this darker. Remember darker? Not the lighter, because I tried the lighter. It doesn't work as well. A uh, piece of the brushed metallics. We're gonna use the uh, metallic brushed, yeah, this is brushed metallics adhesive back dots. From the color and contour set, we're going to use this little scallop here and make a little edging on with the, um, with the metallic, with the copper, copper, yeah, we're thinking copper, and we're going to do some Versa marking again in, carp in copper, but this is actually gonna be a rather simple birthday card, I promise, I know there's lots to it, but it's rather simple. All right, let's take out our, uh, we don't do anything with this, this is just neat and dandy. Let's take out our main card base and our envelope, which is uh, seven by 10, scored in half at five, to make a five by seven. We will need a uh, five by seven card layer, which is four and three quarters by six and three quarters to layer inside. We are going to do a landscape card. I think that's what it's called. And then we're going to need a four and a half by three and a half piece of DSP, again, in the landscape direction. All right, I chose to this DSP specifically because these look like little pots. What do you think? Yes, no? Let me see if I can bring it up to you and see. Oh. Let me get some light on it. I don't know if you can see it or if I can't see it. There we go, little pots, what do you think? Hopefully you can see that. I did get a new camera, so I am able to do this really well, but from my standpoint, it's really dark down there, up there, up there, not down there. I'm not sure what you can see, but I know it's nice and pleasant right here. Let me know if it's not. All right, let's stamp on the middle of our card, or the inside of our card, as normal people call it. And uh, we don't need our photopolymer stamp. Our, these are photopolymer stamps, some of them, so we will need our um, mat. But I think the inside, well, no, that's not true. The inside does have some photopolymer stamping. All right, so did I tell you the colors I chose? Sorry about that. Um, to go with the DSP, we are going to use the Granny Apple Green Pool Party and the Misty Moonlight, and that means we can definitely do a masculine card out of this. Cactuses, not flowers, kinda masculine maybe. Old olive and pear pizzazz just for the other greens in our lives. All right, let's take out 
this. Let's put this right here. We're gonna do all of our stamping at once. And fingers crossed, we are actually going to stamp straight because I did this once before. And um, to say that it wasn't straight is, that's kind of laughable. We'll use our cottontail rabbit embossing tool, tool, that's what it is. Okay, so remember there are two sides to this just in case we get off. I have all my stamps already. I was like, where are my stamps? I forgot on little blocks to help save the day. I love that Stampin' Up! has different size blocks. Really, you know, lets us not get all the ink all over. A few more here. It's a fun set. All right, now, this is the inside, so we are going to say, happy, happy birthday, and we can do whatever colors you wanna do. I'm gonna do that in I just wanna make sure that this is straight because, well, let's just say I haven't had the straightest luck. There we go. Right in the middle. Happy birthday. And look what I got, guys. I got out my little erasy thing. What's this called? A chamois? Yeah, a chamois. Oh, glad I. Put that to the side in case I get wet all over it. Don't want to do that. Happy birthday is done. Woo hoo. All right, let's close this up. And I think we are going to go to, well, let's do Old Olive to say, let's celebrate you. I like this set. I'm hoping the set stays around because this is cute. Let's celebrate you. Perfect sentiment, right? All right. Now, we need to change up, and I learned the hard way that we need to stamp our little guy first. This is called a pot. Thank you very much. I'm gonna put that right here. And then we will go in pear pizzazz. And this is my favorite guy. I forgot to look up what this guy is called. See, do you see that green? That's why I don't, that's why I like to use exactly the right size. This is a little bit bigger. Now, I've tried this both ways. Let me show you, see if I can show you on a piece of scrap paper here. All right, I've tried both ways and I like it when my cactus is just a little bit above instead of right at. Right at. A little bit above, and I don't know why. It's just a little bit more organic-y. Now, if you like this one, that's great. It's so wonderful that Stampin' Up! allows us to have, well, allows to have our creative rights, and we can do whatever we want to do with this just a tiny, tiniest bit above it. Like I said, if you want it down below, these are photopolymers, so you are welcome, more than welcome, easy peasy to do that. All right, now, one inside done. Let's quickly, since we're here, let's do the envelope here. Let's just make sure this is at the top. All right, and we'll take our little guy this time. We're gonna do the same colors, because they're already here. Here we go. Clean you off. And pair pizzazz again. Now let me show you what this one looks like straight on, see what you think. Not straight on, straight at the in the pot. All right. Okay, let's start on the um, outside of our card, this middle part where we're gonna stamp. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've had to do this a few times because my stamp is not straight and I'm a stickler, a stickler for that. So I am going to powder up first and I'm going to stamp my sediment first in case I have to get another piece of paper up. 
So I am, I'm actually going to take this sediment that says, may good things grow all year long. And I'm going to try to stamp it here on one of the lines. And let me tell you my cheat. I chose uh, one of these blocks that actually have a line on it. Stampin' Up! doesn't carry this one, but I chose one that did have a line on it because as you can see, this is a wonky stamp. So uh, I lined it up that way and I'm gonna take a grid and just make sure I did line it up perfectly. And this is pretty good. So I'm gonna stamp it up here, up probably half an inch from each side. And I got it, woo! All right, I had to do it again, I would've been crying. So let's go ahead and finish stamping. Uh, we'll go, oh, let me ink up first. All right, let me, I mean, and boss first. All right, perfect. Oh, have to put it back in there, don't I? on. Now I see a little bit of a problem right here. So I'm just going to take a small brush and remove what I don't want. Let me just tap, tap, tap just the tiniest bit. Still right here. I don't want to interfere with those letters. <sighs> All right. And then we'll take our heat gun. I'll be right back. Okay, now let's um, ink up our middle guy, which will be the smaller pot. And we are using, just put that in the middle there. We are using our mat, okay? We'll do that with granny apple green for our little aloe vera. Could be a yucca, but I'm calling this an aloe vera. They're cuter. Okay. And then I cut out from my darker brushed Oops, sorry, my darker brushed metallic cardstock, the pot. And let's stamp him, which is kind of called a coloma. Coloma? And granny apple green. There's lots of different names. Lots of people call this different things. Right there. Excellent. Okay. Now I am going to stamp, but I can probably, since this is juicy, there we go. And then we need to do our barrel. And that's really easy. Um, with pear pizzazz and using the punch. We cut that out, perfect. And let's just put down this. Ooh. Other pot. Okay, now. Add a little flower if you were not necessarily doing the masculine card. If this was definitely a feminine card, you could go with a little pink petal pink for the Oh, sorry, I can't do two things at once, guys. Little petal pink for the flower, because that's in the um, DSP. 
pink petal pink or maybe flirty flamingo that might be cute too let's tap this off one more time and I did stamp it and then brush away a little bit so the flower looks like it's a little bit on the one side. Cute. All right, let's use our dimensionals. And sorry, Bolty boy. Yes, I have a Bolty. Oh, honey. Mama, sorry she woke you up. It's a terrible life you have. All right. And I use lots because I don't want these to sink in the mail. I know some demonstrators would only use one, maybe two on this guy, but I want him to stay standing. There we go. And then one more for our little pot. Do you like the metallic in this? Would you have not done metallic? I just wanted to give it an extra something something. I know the metallic is not actually in this DSP at all, but I wanted to do something a little bit, you know, make it a little bit nicer than just two colors. And I definitely did not want to go with Mango Melody, even though that would have definitely been a cactus color, you know, like a southwesterny color, the Mango Melody, but no, I kind of wanted to make this a masculine card. All right, now, what do you think? I think I chopped this out. So we'll have to do some um, some chopping. But I uh, cut this out with this, easy peasy. Just put it down, and I, I made it so that these were equal sides. I am still gonna cut it down a little bit, but they're still gonna be equal size. So, as you can see, my screw up here. Let's add a little bit of glue. And we'll have a little bit of wiggle room here. I don't know if you can see this, but my, my uh, sentiment was upside down. It was straight though, which I thought was amazing. And I'm just gonna get it so it's the tiniest bit away from the thing. I really do not wanna get this glue all over, but it looks like I did. That's okay. I will use a little bit of a damp cloth and take care of that. Do I wanna use the guillotine or just scissors? Do I wanna use the guillotine or just scissors? Hmm, scissors are probably easier at this point. Okay. Take a little bit of dampness, try to get that off. Don't want that pretty shininess to go away, huh? All right, so what do you think about that? What do you think about the saying? Do you like the stamp set? Uh, did you pick it up already? Did you decide that's not for me? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, succulents are the only thing that I don't kill because I actually can kill, well, that's not true. The only thing with my daughter's help that I don't kill, because I can kill plastic plants. And uh, she's really good at plant keeping. I overwater them or, so, you know, if I have them and then she'll say, don't water it. And I'll say, oh yeah, okay, all right. Or I underwater them, water them, I get it, because I forget about them. I just do all kinds of crazy stuff. Okay, here, and I kind of want to do right here too because I'm worried about this guy falling. Here, it's easier to do it without the paper. Here, okay. It's best if you release the release paper. That's why it stays sticky that way. Sorry guys, <laughs> I have done this card like four times because I could not 
get the sentiment straight. We well, haven't done this card, I've done the sentiment. Now, you should know that these little guys are not perfectly straight, so just check two sides as long as it's, you know, the they're a little bit wonky. So, do you see how this one goes up a little bit? But this side right here is pretty good, so I think that I'm straight. Who knows? All right, let's get our card together. Yes, okay. And we'll use stamp and seal for this. If you have a hard time with stamp and seal because you can't get it to um, continuously feed, what I would suggest is if it doesn't start right away, just keep push pulling down. It'll start again and then go back where it was and um, kind of lift your wrist up a little bit. I prefer the dots. I wish Stampin' Up! would make dots because I like dots a lot. Excellent. All right, friends, it looks like this card is good. And you don't have to do it all around the edges. I'm just doing that. See, like it didn't start there. So I just kept pulling and then went back to where um, it didn't start. It finally released itself. All right. Let's use our bone folder. Make a good crease there. And I think I am going to do some little dots. Look at that guy, he's cute. A little bit of wonkiness here, but that's okay. Uh, let's do our metallic dots. And I did put them out here, right here. And we'll take these great brass ones. And we'll go by our sentiment a little bit. Whoops. We'll go way down here. There we go. All right, friends, that's my card today. Let me know what you think of it. I'd really appreciate you guys subscribing and liking. And oh, know that we all have those days when Nothing will go right, but if we persevere, <laughs> we can actually make it work. Thanks, friends. Have a good one.